Breaking news: The Royal High. What was that? There's no breaking news this week. There's no breaking news this week. Right. Well, no breaking news this week, but we do have a little bit of tea to talk about, and we will learn more about that after this small word from our provider. If you would like to, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications. That way, you know when I upload my latest videos. I also would like to get to a hundred thousand subscriber goal. You can also join my channel with memberships for a monthly subscription, and you can follow me over on Twitter at it's slimy. I also have my own Roblox group called the Keyline Pie, which you can join right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to Royal High Weekly. This week we do not have any major tea, but we do have a few things to talk about. This episode will be a short one because we don't have any drama really and we only have a tiny little bit of tea that we're going to talk about. Regardless, you are still getting a Royal High Weekly episode this week. So without further ado, let's head over to our first section, which is spilling the tea. Starting off, we have some new school news. This is kind of the only new school new screenshot we've gotten. We don't even know if this is actually going to be in the game because Rosie is sharing with us that this is the last build that they did for Royal High. We don't know if it's going to be coming to the game or not or if they're going to be making a new swimming pool area. Who knows? But this is a potential area coming to this new realm. We'll see if it does though. But it's definitely interesting to see. Uh, it's very nice. I like the diving boards. Well, diving platforms which makes me think at the top there there is like a diving pool and then obviously here you have your own swimming pool as well so it makes me think there's like two different pools here so that's really cool it will be like really cool to have a special diving area maybe we can get some custom animations for that so somebody who i've collaborated before with on this channel is b plays roblox who is such a fast growing channel in the community right now they work incredibly hard they like put out multiple videos a day so if you want to know t in royal high i highly recommend watching b's channel but the reason i am on their video today and it's this one the new school is actually to update which I will link in the description and the pinned comments for you to go check out this video and it has some tea in here from Callen, which is one of the developers of Royal High and I want to share this with you this week because it's quite important for you to know. So this new campus that is being worked on is actually very huge like they are redoing everything and by that i mean they are completely redesigning how the game functions they're also redoing the map and also adding new classes and stuff but it's all got to be rescripted from scratch and also it's not just a new school they're adding they're adding other things like a cafe and other areas that aren't just about the school there are other major parts of it as well it's like a they're scripting a, a game from scratch which is why it's taken like a year plus for them to work on it so far you know so here is another one like more than just a new map in classes so it's just going to be a huge huge update so Callan said it's disgustingly big and half of it won't release on release date so what they mean by that is they have other major plans for this update but they can't release it all at the same time because things won't be ready at the same time so it's just huge it's going to be absolutely huge and i won't be short on content that's for sure <laughs> so make sure you come over to b's channel and support them and subscribe because they are growing so fast and i love her so so much she is so hard working <laughs> So these animations were put into Call Me Bob's inventory and Call Me Bob does not put things in her inventory very often. She uses alt accounts because of people, you know, leaking things that she probably doesn't want leaked. So very rarely 
she puts stuff in her inventory and this is something that's been put into her inventory and it's some new animation so this one is called magic force we only have a still of it uh, we don't have any video because I think it doesn't actually move um, but it's interesting to see the pose it looks like maybe just a pose that might be coming for this new school for something we also have a video version of a different animation and this is called mermaid animation which <laughs> Are we getting mermaid reworks? Oh, we have Portal out as well. I didn't actually look through this entire sequence from Styx here, who is my number one field reporter who just knows everything about Royal IT. Definitely follows it. Oh, we got Portal in as well. So, ooh, that's interesting. Maybe the, these probably might be for the new school. Testing timing. Oh, so this is more of a test animation, I think have breathing as well so just kind of standing there and breathing <laughs> is and we have breathing idol so that's i think an animated version of that mermaid animation is definitely interesting to me i don't know if we're going to get mermaid tail reworks or if there's going to be just like brand new mermaid tails in general or just a mermaid morph interesting to see i'm super excited we definitely are lacking in our mermaid content for the game especially considering Coleman Bob loves mermaids and made this game based on mermaids in the first place. <laughs> also Coleman Bob has a lot of new audio files to go along with animations so we have the animations there and then we have all of these audio files as well so like breeze and puck like peaceful, owl, thunderstorm, fantasy magic so sort of these kind of background sound effects which I won't take you through there's no point a lot of the devs are actually working on their own projects at the minute so I know Vianchi is working on their own game I think it's called Penthouse or something like that and then also Jam Jam Joe is working on their own game and that's called Sparkle Valley so I know they're working on their own projects but they have also been working on them simultaneously with Royal High updates so um, I think they will probably be working on Royal High stuff as well at the minute <laughs> So Saltishio has made a bunch of new hairs. These aren't confirmed to be coming to Royal High, but it's most likely that they will. Um, I'm not saying that's 100%, but I'm gonna share them anyway, because Saltishio contributes a lot of hairs to Royal High. So these are mostly based on My Hero Academia, which is a anime. So this is the first one. We have this hairstyle that is very, tall it's spiky um i don't know how else to describe it and then we have a todoroki hair which has this kind of split style to it of course so you know obviously if this was in game you could change the color and things and here's some different views of it from the back and the side kirishima and this one is very spiky uh, and extravagant <laughs> that's what i'll say and this is a side angle just like it's so pointy like i i might cut my finger on this hair it's so pointy and here's a back look at it uh, it's kind of hedgehog hair from the back <laughs> and we have bakugo as well and this is also very spiky but not as tall or as long so this one's a lot shorter but still very spiky anyways that's it for the tea very short very short we don't even have any drama today so we're moving straight on to submissions so we have a larger portion for submissions this week but before we do that so we're going to take a quick ad break so see you in a moment <laughs> We're starting off with this screenshot of an outfit by Amerix uh, and it's with Kate's Creamery Ice Cream Company in the apartments and it's an outfit based around sort of candy and sweets and also the ice cream as well so it's a very cool outfit. We've got an edit of the Princess Starfrost Scepter, which is very cool. It has the sticker vibes that I love. I call these sticker edits when they have these big white outline and sometimes they don't have line art but sometimes they do but if they have that big chunky white outline i call them sticker edits <laughs> and this is made by i fray it is very cool thank you for sending it in got an edit here by pengo princess and it is very cool it has this sort of 
urban vibe to it and it has like the dear dolly heels and i think shadow emperor's corset or star no it's a star for us princess star for us isn't it and a hat and a bandana as well it's very cool we have this very cute edit and kind of fan cam vibe of ted zilla or teddy zilla i always call it ted zilla but the actual name's teddy zilla i feel like that's a mandela effect very cute i mean little heart in the background and he's got little blushy cheeks and he's got sparkles in eyes and he just looks really sad um but this is made by monarch 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 the fourth so there you go this absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork by magnolias and it's just mwah, it's mwah, it's chef's kiss it's amazing i love the style the art style of this it kind of reminds me of animation so it's just it's amazing i love it we've got another sticker edit by it's catty teddy zilla obsession this edit took an hour and a half besides i think this edit is one of the cutest and it's one of those sticker edits that limey calls it <laughs> and yeah it is a sticker edit it's got the bold white outline to it and minimal minimal line art so it's so cute i love this one um it has a very sleepover vibe and it's pink can't go wrong with pink got another sticker edit by it's catty with balloons and the miss lady rose skirt and the miss lady rose corset and hair ribbons and a shawl and it's just beautiful i love it this one took five hours so i mean I can imagine, I can't imagine how long it takes to draw that skirt or that hair. Princess Star Frost Scepter, but what if it was Princess Starfire Scepter? I mean, that makes more sense, doesn't it? I mean, stars are, you know, burning gas. It makes sense. It makes sense that it would be Starfire, wouldn't it? I mean, Star Frost. Can you think of any cold stars that aren't black holes? <laughs> but anyway, look it's cool i love the vibes of this it's got flames on the bottom there instead and it's just got a cool vibe to it and this is made by it's frey again who made the, the sticker edit of the star frost scepter but not least we have this edit by cherry goes oof one and it's of meredith mushroom i have to include at least one piece of meredith mushroom content in every single one of these episodes it's very cute we got little hair clips and hearts on the boots and things it's a cute and a different background so that is it for submissions this week <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Royal High Weekly, everyone. It is a little bit of a shorter episode, but there's nothing I can do when there is dried up tea everywhere. We know the devs are going to be moving on to working on Royal High Campus stuff now, so we might see some more tea come in the future. I'm not so, it's a little bit empty this week. But that's it for this week's episode, Royal High Weekly. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Good evening, everybody. Bye.